Okay, so in this question, we're given 5 times square root 125, um, and we're asked to um, make it in the form 5 to the power of something. So this bit here is kind of our objective. We've got to make this so it's just a single power of 5. Well, 5 at the moment, well, that's quite nice of them to give us a 5, but 5 is to the power of 1, and that's going to be maybe important later on. So 5 to the power of 1 is just 5 times. Now, I notice 125 is actually um, 5 cubed, so I'm going to rewrite that as 5 cubed. Uh, 5 times 5 is 25, times 5 is 125, so uh, that might help us. Um, I'm thinking, right, um, that square root I can rewrite as to the power of a half. So I'm going to get that 5 to the power of uh, 3, and I'm going to put that to the power of a half. Um, to the power of a half and square root are the same thing, um, and that's something you need to, to know about indices. Okay, now the second rule that I'll need is if I've got a number inside and a number outside of a bracket, which I do here, I times them. So that's going to be the same as 5 to the power of 1.5 or 3 over 2. Okay, or 1.5, I could just write it as 1.5, it doesn't matter. Okay, it's, it's sometimes easier to do just a top heavy fraction um, because obviously when you're writing powers, you're already writing small um, and it gets a bit complicated otherwise. So it doesn't matter. And the other rule I'll need to know about indices is when you times them, you add the powers. So it's going to be 5 to the power of 2.5. And, and it says write your answer as a decimal. Um, so it's 2.5 as a decimal is just 2.5.